This right here is the John Allen House. John Allen House. And I really don't want to, I'm not going to go into in depth on a lot of this. We just wanted to show you some of the things that's out here. But what they did is they, um, this was the house before they moved it. And they actually moved it, what, it was 1966? Yep. Yeah. 1966, they uh, took it down. I think they had, they rebuilt the roof. Yes. They took the roof down and they rebuilt it and so they left the doors open for me um so we could film they said we could film in here it would be perfectly fine and so uh but we're going to show you a little bit in here and uh but this the house itself here the house itself here is all original and what was the you're gonna to have to help me out here as far as the the actual packing I, didn't she say that they took some of the dirt of the area? Uh-huh. But then they went back over it. They took the dirt of the area that where this house originally stood at and um, and packed it in between this wood. But they ended up putting something over it. And what's really wild is that you can see their fingerprints. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's fingerprints all over them, thousands and thousands of fingerprints. And uh, here's a handprint here. Uh, where fingers would have been like that and so it's really wild to see that and uh, give it more of a, a original look to it and so hopefully everything will show up real nice now what was the original this is there's original that's bed. original mm -hmm. the table is original uh -huh. the clock the clock is original and that was built by quakers Yes, and the trunk was too. Now tell me about the bed, because you knew you knew what this thing was. This is called a trundle bed. It slides up underneath the big bed. This right here slides yeah. underneath this one. So like one of the kids would sleep there, the parents would sleep there. And this was donated by Germans. Yes. What she said. Mm -hmm. That is original. That's a and that's made by the Quakers. Okay. Upstairs there's absolutely no light. Yeah. But they got a bunch of antiques up there is what they said. But um this look at this big fireplace. I mean, it's massive. Yeah, you could lay down in it. You, yeah, you could lay down in it and still have room. It looks like about six feet um, across here. And it's nice and cool in here. It's very um, insulated. It is. It's yeah. warm outside, but I swear, guys, it's nice and cool yeah. in here. So you know, um, you know, it did a, it did a really good job installation and stuff. Now this is a loom. Mm -hmm. They think this room right here was John Allen's store. She said. He sold um, fabric and needles and threads, and she said eventually he liked hats and gloves and things like that Yeah. in here, but they made it into a loom room. That wrong? Loom room. Loom room. Loom room. I tell you what, it's a whole lot different back then. I'm just amazed that they can make up a contraption like this to do what it does here. I'm just absolutely amazed. I'm <laughs> just of course, but they didn't have television and mm -hmm. smartphones and... <laughs> and then there's your smokehouse. Yeah. This right here is a smokehouse. Mm -hmm. this, this is not original to the house. Somebody else had moved this here that it's about the same time period. And this was built by Eagle Scouts? or The, the frame was built by Eagle Scouts, the lean-to. Okay. So made, that's, a, that's an oven, a bread oven. Okay. What a house would be like. Yeah. In the 1700s. They called it a, the back country. The back country. No going to the store back then. This right here is where we're at. This is this building right here. Um, and the highway is right here. That's where the highway is. So just like here on the map. And where this battle ensued at was just beyond where the building is. This was where the militia was. And then the regulators right back here on this one area. And so that would have been, now they got a monument over here. And we're going to check that out here in just a little bit. There's a monument right here, and then, and then there's another monument. They give you where the monuments are, where each each one of them were. Okay, it says, From this spot, North Carolina militia under the command of Governor William Tryon 
engaged a large group of regulators in open battle. The ensuing engagement involved 3,000 people, eight cannons. There's an example of the, or there's a yeah. cannon right there. Yeah. Um, and lasted nearly two hours and left scores killed and wounded. Yep. Yeah. So what was she? T what the tour guide told us is that Governor Tryon and the militia were coming through and going west, and the regulators blocked the road and stopped them, and then that's when the battle ensued. Yeah. He gave them the choice to, to move out of the way or be shot at. So, okay. And she said whenever mm -hmm. he ordered them to fire, the militia did not fire because some of the regulators were family members and people that they knew. And then evidently somebody did fire at some point in time and it started the battle. A Revolutionary War Connection. Ten years after the Battle of Alamance, this ground once again witnessed conflict during the Southern Campaign of the Revolutionary War. Archaeological evidence confirms the account of Delaware soldiers who engaged the British Army in March of 1871. From this hill, nearly 2,000 regulators stood and faced the Governor Tryon's militia and dared them to fire. Without officers, adequate weapon, or battle plan, their hopes of victory in pitched battle were very slim. But they hoped to intimidate Governor Tryon and the superior numbers. A soldier's dilemma. Archaeologists exposed a mystery near this spot where two artifacts found very close to each other revealed an interesting story with an uncertain end. What do you think happened? Okay. So it looks like they found a musket tool and a musket top jaw. Yeah. So this discovery indicates during the night during the 1771 Battle of Alamance a soldier experienced problems with his musket. They could tell that? I guess because it came apart. I don't know. That's kind of crazy. Oh, you would think it would just over time it yeah. just rusted and well, came apart were, itself. They were in two separate areas. Oh. Huh. So, it says he could have been killed before he was able to correct the problem. Pew's Rock. Local legend holds that regulator James Pew used this rock as a fighting position during the battle. But deeper research revealed a mystery of mistaken identity, leaving more questions than answers. So she told us during the tour that they're not sure if the actual battle happened right here. She thinks it happened further down past like where the house is. Okay. Area. But they do think it happened in this area because of the hill on both sides. Yeah. And here we are coming up upon the highway. Do you remember what she called this highway? Hillsboro? Yeah. The um Hillsboro, Hillsboro Salisbury Highway. Okay, this was once the Hillsboro Salisbury Highway, if I remember correctly. Yep, that's what she said. This is the Battle of Alamance Monument. Over a century after the battle, local citizens built this monument to assert the claim that the Battle of Alamance was the first battle of the Revolution and that the regulators fought for liberty. Learn what might have prompted them to make this argument and why the full story is more complicated. Does it show a map on the map? Which Is this the regulator one? This is the one that was erected in 1880. The what this, now? This, this monument was erected in 1880. The one over there was erected in 1901. All right, there's another one over here. This is the Colonial Column. It was built in 1901 and commemorating the regulator James Hunter and North, Carolina, North Carolina's role in the American Revolution. Amid controversy, it was milled, moved from the Guilford Courthouse National Military Park to Alamance Battleground in 1962. Okay. So this was once at the Guilford County. In Guilford County, it got moved to Alamance County. Okay. Huh. So this is one of the monuments. Yeah. That's okay. Th that's one, and this is one. This that is one. one. Was erected in 1880, and this one was erected in 1901. Okay. But it was moved here in 1962. And the tour, our tour guide lady said, it says on here that this was the first battle of the American Revolution. 
or the Revolutionary War. She said that this battle really didn't have anything to do with the Revolutionary War. They weren't fighting England. They were fighting some bad, crooked, some crooked politicians. Yes, yeah, basically what they were done doing. I mean, yeah. So she said it. She said on the monuments it says that it's the first battle of the Revolutionary War, but she said really that wasn't it wasn't what it was about. 